types of immunostaining might increase the use of Mohs surgery to treat Lentigo maligna. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from the Orlando Dermatology Aesthetic and Clinical Conference in Orlando, Florida. What are the main challenges of treating Lentigo maligna? Lentigo maligna is a subtype of melanoma in situ that occurs on chronically sun-damaged skin. Uh, it can be difficult to determine the clinical extent of these cancers, and so the recommended margin of 5 millimeters is often inadequate to completely remove the cancer. MART-1 is the most common stain used and generally works well, but there are some limitations we need to be aware of. It can falsely label keratinocytes in inflamed skin and in pigmented actinic keratoses. Because it's a cytoplasmic stain, it also labels the dendritic processes of the melanocytes. This labeling can result in pseudoconfluence, or the appearance that the melanocytes are touching, when in reality they are not. This can result in false positives and the removal of more tissue than necessary. How is the MITF immunostain an improvement? In contrast to MART1, which is a cytoplasmic stain, MITF is a nuclear stain. This avoids the problem of pseudoconfluence. In addition, we can measure the nuclear diameter and the density of the melanocytes. Our research has shown that a nuclear diameter of nine or more microns or a density of 10 or more melanocytes per 200 microns is associated with lentigo maligna. This additional information can help us avoid false positives and spare the patient from unnecessary surgery.